Along those lines though? Great. Hey, Gary Robbins here in North Vancouver and uh, we'll talk a little bit about what the training consists of for the Barkley Marathon. I really did not want to do this today. Titty out and I feel shitty and I don't want to do this, but it doesn't matter. It's Friday, March 10th. It's raining out and for some reason, I'm happy about that. Another beautiful morning in paradise. We are now uh, going into what will be the final training run of this training block. It is a full overnight session. We're gonna shoot out at 9.30, get to the trailhead, and the goal is to start by 10 o'clock p.m. The goal of the workout, first and foremost, is to carry all my Barkley gear. So I'll be wearing a backpack that'll probably be anywhere from eight to 10 pounds. And it is to go through the entire night while also accumulating 20,000 feet of vertical gain gain and loss. Um, so <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I really enjoy going through the night into the sunrise. Oh, wow, look what's waiting for us tonight. <laughs> oh, so this is why there's an awful lot of packing going on right now. This is what it's supposed to be tonight for 10 hours. I'm excited, can't you tell? It's been quite the season here, weather-wise. We've had a ton of snow, um, almost historic levels, and a lot of rain. And today has been interesting. It's been on and off rain throughout, so I've got a contingency plan. I've got all the gear I need, and if it ends up being a super nasty night, I'll be prepared for that. This is very close to what I will end up having to, to carry with me on a lap-by-lap -lap basis at Barkley. If we can do a, a weight test, we'll, come, we'll be right back at you with how much this weighs. You can edit that out too, that was lame. So we've got eight pounds of supplies in here and basically everything that you would need to face the apocalypse. <laughs> I just realized I've been sitting here like anxiety filled all day about dreading this workout, which is fair. It's terrible out there and it's not how most people would choose to want to spend a night. And then I just realized that this is the penultimate and really the workout of my Barkley training and I got here healthy and in a great state. And who cares what the weather does? We have no control over that. And it's great that I'm being tested in that manner for this race. And I just got a bit excited. I get to go out and, and fight with the elements a bit and really just celebrate the fact that I've gotten here for the second year in a row and ideally set myself up to achieve my goals at the Barkley. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty excited about the whole thing right now. But this is my aid station, my change of clothes, my clothes for afterwards, my gear for wearing, and then a bag of stuff that I just hope I don't have to even touch. And that's it. We're good to go. Tonight I'll be up on grouse all night long, at least uh, 10 hours and 20,000 feet, assuming things go well. Forgot about the spikes being added to everything, so tack on another pound, so we're up over 9 pounds now for, <laughs> for gear for tonight. Keep those in a little satchel so those spikes don't actually rip the bag. Clock start time, it is 9.59 and this. A variable I can't control where if a fog sets in, you can't see your own feet, it's all navigation and your navigation skills. And I've improved my skills greatly, but that will be a true test that I have no guarantees I, I know I can pass at this point. So we'll see what we get on race day. And as we do, we try to mimic everything we can in training. Right. 
that's cool. Look at that. And the groomer is arriving at the same time too. That's really funny. 4,300 feet, just over two hours, just after midnight. Uh, moving really slow. This combination of the weight I'm carrying, nine pounds of gear, the conditions really loose, the training block taking its toll, and the time of day overall. So far, so good. Tag this, get back at it. Uh, yeah, and <laughs> as has always been the case in this season, it's snowing up top. There won't be any descent records set out here tonight. Well, there's the Battleship Galactica and lap two on the BCMC plus the skyline. So far we're up to 6,800 feet of climbing, three hours, 40 minutes which makes it 1.41 in the morning. I will do everything I can not to fall. The last thing I want to do is to fall, but it's so difficult not to. Nearly had a catastrophe there. This is where I landed. That's where I started doing a header, and the spike ended up wrapped around a stump. Nearly put me down, but thankfully, no harm, no foul. Just shy of halfway through right now, 9,500 feet, five hours, eight minutes, <clears throat> 3.08 a.m. My last big workout, I'm halfway through it. Body is speaking to me a little bit, <clears throat> but I continue to assess <clears throat> and believe. <coughs> Overall, Things are going swimmingly. 12,000 feet, six hours, 40 minutes. 5.18 in the morning, about seven hours, 18 minutes, 15 miles. I clearly just hit a wall. Been fighting through for the last 20 minutes. It's not normal for me to get my low at six in the morning. Normally it's at four o'clock, um, but I haven't consumed nearly enough calories in the last two hours. We're at eight hours, 40 minutes, just under 15,000 feet, almost 18 miles, and it is 6.40 in the morning. Up Dam Mountain for sunrise, Gator Dune. <coughs> Late December, back in 63. Boats, city, sign, <coughs> oh, what a night! Woo! Sorry, I should have told you. I'm going to yell and it's going to be loud. 16,000 feet and stuff and things. <coughs> I'm not done. I got 4,000 feet more to go. And I'm not even going to think about it or talk about it. I'm going to eat some food and get my butt off this mountain and get it done and go home. But. I'm having fun. I'm at 18,200. 11 hours, 10 minutes, 23 and a half miles. <clears throat> and there's a big, I think, unless I'm dreaming, there's some stuff happening. <coughs> Twenty thousand. <sighs> it felt hard. It was good. I have done sixty-two thousand feet of climbing and descent in the last eight and a half days, and one hundred and twenty-six thousand in the last three and a half weeks. Taper begins right now. Another beautiful morning in paradise. Let's go eat pancakes. The most accomplished Barkley Marathons runner ever 
had 31 minutes to spare. Uh, I was with Jared for 47 hours. We did not mess around. We were pushing the entire time. And it is currently getting well up there in terms of uh, the ability for anybody to finish it. So I've controlled every variable that I can in my training, in my preparations. I'm ready to accept whatever card is dealt to us on the day and I'm ready to put everything into it. And it is my hope that I will be fortunate enough to have the stars align when I get there to be able to pull off a finish. That's the, the only goal for me. There is no reward in anything less than five laps.